a womp 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 womp. Hey everyone! Today I decided to share a fun story that happened in my last year at school. For those of you who have been long subscribed to my channel, know that I was a student and I was always... Ahem... <clears throat> looking for troubles. And those of you who are new to my channel, Go ahead and subscribe, and don't forget to like my video if you haven't done so yet. Welcome to the big family of Claire fans. Come on in, join us, make yourself at home. Anyways, here comes a school story about me doing... Oops, it seems we don't have any spoilers. Come on, everyone's read the title of this video and knows exactly what we're going to be talking about. Oh, really? Then I don't need to be telling you that this story is about myself almost locking in my teacher. Alright, let me start from the beginning, otherwise you'll have a complete mess in your head. So, we had a literature teacher at school. She joined us at the beginning of the year, so we didn't really know anything about her. Actually, there was just three things to know about her. First, her name was Miss Esther, but we called her Miss Monster, and believe me, she was a real monster. The second, Miss Mons, I mean, Miss Esther was teaching literature and English. Before she came, we had the bestest teacher ever. She was the coolest teacher in the world, but then she quit and was replaced by Miss Mons. Shoot, I almost said it again. Anyways, you guys got me right. Third, Miss Esther and I, um, let me check my notes quickly. Irreconcilable differences. Yeah, that's true. The thing is that Miss Esther thought I was, and I thought the same about her. That's why we had, how do you call them? Differences. Argy bargy. Tiffs. Battles. Come on, you're mad because she didn't think you were a literature genius as the previous teacher. No way, very far from being the truth. In this poem, the author wrote that the streets were yellow. What do you think he meant? I think the author wanted to say that the main character was suppressed and hopeless. Um, good guess, Claire, but um, think some more. I know, it's probably because the main character was sad and depressed. That's why the streets were yellow. You're absolutely right! What? Alpaca, you gotta pinch me, am I seeing things? Hey, what in the world? But you just told me to pinch you! Anyhow, by the end of the year, our relationship with Miss Esther was completely ruined. Actually, relationship is a wrong word. She didn't care, and I believe she didn't even know my name. And I couldn't stop thinking about her. Do you want to have some fruit, Claire? So fresh, I just picked them. No, Graham, I'm kinda busy now. I'll have some later. No sound ideas in my head, as you see. I decided that since it was the last year of school, I had nothing to lose. So, I decided to do a prank, just for fun. To lock her in for a whole night. Let her sit there and talk to herself for five hours in a row. Let her understand how we feel. Claire, you know that fun is when everyone is laughing, not just you. When you are laughing alone, it's called... Anyways, Miss Esther always stayed at school till late, so I just waited for all the students and most of the teachers to go home. Then I stole a key from a room. And then I had to do the most difficult part. This mission is impossible. Mission Claire. I inserted the key into the door lock beforehand and went to look for the teacher. My plan was very simple. To ask the teacher to come to the next room, wait for her to come inside, and lock her in. Then I could lie that the door shut itself. What do you think? Cool plan, huh? Reliable, like a Swiss watch. Well, everything turned out as usual. Yeah, I was asked to tell you that there was a uh, meeting in that room. A meeting? At 7 o'clock? But there's no one here. How come? That's what I was told. You could wait here and I'll go home. Oh, Claire, wait. What's wrong? Never mind. Oh, shoot! Help! Let me out! You gotta pinch me, alpaca! Ow! Hey, come on! It's just a saying. I'm joking! Yeah, right. The door shut itself and we spent the whole night locked in the room with Miss Monster. I cannot say I enjoyed it. Of course, I exaggerated when I say we spent the whole night there. Grandma couldn't find us and went looking. She and a security guy from the school found us and let us out. Grandma! You're gonna make my child crazy with your studies. It's 10 o'clock at night. Literature can wait. But I didn't. We're going home, Claire. Actually, now I think that it was good luck. If I locked her in the room for the whole night, she would have become even crankier. <laughs> Write in the comments if you ever dreamed of locking mean teachers in. And don't forget to hit the bell not to miss any of my newest videos. This was Claire. Bye bye Alpaca, I'm telling you again, stop pinching me. It's just a common saying.